Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Tar Heel basketball season has begun. Carolina number one in the preseason poll. It is an NCAA record 10th time that the Tar Heels have earned that number one ranking in the preseason. So Carolina gets things started at home. Been a little shaky early on. Beat UNCW by 13 in a physical game on Monday night. Then down at halftime against College of Charleston on Friday night. And then all of a sudden, the number one team in the country showed up. Tar Heels run past the Cougars to move to 2-0. Let's see some highlights from Carolina's 2-0 start to the basketball season. 13-28 to go first half. Heels once down 8-2, now down up, now up 10-8. Baycott spinning into the paint, goes up with the left hand for two. Boy, the speed with which this team is playing to get down the court. Davis on that right sideline, crossover. Now he elevates for the long three, count it. Gets a high screen from Baycott out to Nance up high. Nance, a couple of hard dribbles right of the lane. Pulls up for the jumper and rattles it home. On the Carolina bench, Dunn hands off to Caleb Love. Love drives on the angle dribble. Right side off the glass for two. Nance will bring it front side on his own dribble on the left. Got a little out of control. Gets it back, finds Baycott, and he lays it home. Puts his head into the line. Cuts him off on the drive. White still pounding it to the deck. Finally gets free. Shot blocked away as Nickel able to recover to Davis in transition to Trimble. Oh my gosh, he about touched the top of the Smith Center for the finger roll and the foul. The foul is on Newby, his second. Love gets a screen, step back, drives, counted in the foul. Caleb flexes, and he should. He used every bit of that strength for the two. 69-56, the final score. Get it off the glass for two before Baycott could block it away. Meanwhile, the Tar Heels quickly the other side. Trimble banks it home from the right side. Baycott outside the arc, guarded by Horton, sends it over to Love. Love on the angle drive in the Tomahawk throwdown. Have yet to find rhythm really this season as Davis has it in the left corner. He'll try the three, and it's good. To Nickel, right corner to Black. He'll try the triple. Yes! Long rebound, run down on the baseline by Love. Left corner to Nickel, his three, nothing but net. Nance has missed a couple of open corner threes, has not made one yet this year. Love will get a clean look for three and knock it in. Tar Heels have started the half on a 7-0 run. They don't try and get cute, they just take shots that they can make. Baycott spins to the right and lays it in over the challenge of Berzovic. Tar Heels up two with the basketball. Davis dribbles into the right corner. Stop there to Nance. Quick whips a pass to Baycott for the two-handed dunk. On the left sideline, he's guarded by Love. Jab step, drives, taken away from behind by Love. Love on the run, whips it to Trimble. Layup, count it. Hand off in the drive, erased at the rim. Loose ball rebound to Black. Here comes Carolina, four on three. Love, an impossible scoop shot, how did it go? Burnham faces up against Baycott, drives on the left, swatted away by Baycott. Carolina has rejected a bunch of shots tonight, that's eight. As Davis finds Black, cutting to the rim in transition, and he hammers it home. Backs it up near the timeline right. Davis, long pass to Love on the left sideline. Drives the alley-oop to Baycott for 100. But Phi can't get the stick back. Love's going to get a run out on the other side. Hubert Davis said, hold it back. You can't hold him back. He hammers it down, 102 to 84. I thought our defense stepped up. Um, we did a really good job of um, one of the things that we talked about was from the three-point line, either take away the three or take away the rhythm three. And I think they only had two three-pointers in the second half. I still felt like they got second chance opportunities, especially when Armando went for the block and our help side defenders needed to come in to, to take their uh, five man away from getting an offensive rebound. But I thought defensively, we, you know, we got 11 steals in the second half. So I felt like we were more active and then that led into the offensive end, just attacking the basket, whether it's through penetration and Armando was fantastic getting the position that he wanted in the post and being able to finish and he either scored or got fouled and then we got into the penalty early and I like that because we're a good free throw shooting team.